longer the time spent in retirement, the harder it becomes to be certain about a retiree's financial outcome. So in planning for retirement or just living it, you must understand the risks that lie ahead and how they could impact your financial security. Joining us is Clayton Alexander in Salt Lake City, Utah. So when we talk about risk in relation to retirement planning, I think most people immediately think about market risk, but there are other risks. Can you talk about that? Uh, taxes. Taxes is definitely one of the big ones. Uh, outliving your money is probably the next one, so longevity risk. Um, I would say that those are probably the other main two areas of concern that people have. And you mentioned longevity risk and the fact that people are living much longer and that requires more assets to pay for that time frame. How do you manage that? Yeah, so that, that is definitely the number one fear that people have, right? Being retired and then running out of money. The last thing that we want to have happen is to be age 80, age 85, and all of a sudden no more money and we have to try and go back to work, right? And definitely um, not ideal or anything that anybody wants to do. So that is the first problem as advisors um, that we look to solve, right? Uh, if, if income is the number one need, none of the other things need to uh, even be looked at until that problem is solved, right? There's no point in trying to look at how do we be tax efficient or how do we uh, make sure that money transitions when we pass away if we're not even satisfying the income needs to begin with. My take is that there's lots of ways to build a retirement income plan, right? And it's more designed around what, uh, what our clients are comfortable with from a risk standpoint, right? So I have some clients that say, hey Clay, I am comfortable having everything in the markets, right? And I'm willing to stomach the downs of the markets knowing that over time I'll make money, right? As long as my investments are properly allocated. But then I also have clients that say, hey Clay, I don't want anything in the markets. I, I can't stomach even losing two or 3%. Um, and in exchange for that, I'm willing to not make as much money along the way, right? So it's, first it's identifying what is the client comfortable with, right? What ideas do they like and what ideas do they not like? I do know that from an income planning standpoint, the last thing that I would want to do is as markets are declining, having to sell positions at a loss to generate the income that you need, right? So that's, again, going back to what the clients are trying to accomplish. If the first area of concern is income, that's what we want to lock up and make sure that it's bulletproof first. Um, after that, uh, we want to be looking at, again, how do we be tax efficient? How do we make sure assets transfer the way that you want them to when you pass away? Great, Clayton. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's Clayton Alexander in Salt Lake City, Utah, and you're watching Retirement News Online.